Okay guys, back to the second video, like I said. So this is an entry video for Nimesh. Nimesh, you better open your eyes wide, as wide as you can, because I'm not doing this again for the next few months. Why? Because there's no more reason for us to be doing videos since I'm repeating myself for the past four months on entries, okay? It's the same entry that I'm going to show you now like I did in the video of how to turn 100 pounds into 1,000, okay? It will be the same thing all over again. Now, you may be listening and you'll be listening and see my voice is very calm, however, still cynical. That's because it's 10 p.m. here where I am in the UK, London. So I'm doing this for you guys at 10 p.m., okay? I'm not watching my Netflix, I'm not watching my documentary, just for you to do this. So you better open your freaking eyes and see what I'm showing you. Let's go. Entries. Okay, but before entries, let's first fix our what I do when I enter the room, okay? This is what I'm looking at. One and four and then eight and daily. If you really want to go there, if you don't want to complicate yourself, just one and four. G one and four. New R showed up. MT actually uh, started recording this a few minutes after, but this was from 99 and it was perfect, okay? So the new candle came at the BB bands, at the BB bands, at the BB bands, at the BB bands. Even if the trend is up, what does this mean? This hanging thing means means that it wants to come down. So it was preparing to come down. When you open the room and you see, oh my God, trend is up, trend is up, you're thinking, oh my God, I'm going to take it out. No, that's not enough, dummy. You need to look where the freaking candle is at. Look what happened to every single candle that was at the top. Look what happened to every single candle that reached to the BB bands. Look what happened with them, okay? They went up, went outside of the BB bands or touched them. They came back down. Went back up, came back down. Up, now it's coming down. So when you open the freaking room and you see the position of the candles on the top of the BB bands, even though trend is up, you are expecting this sucker to come down. So what is my prediction on GU? It's down. Okay, it's down. Now, let's go back to this one, EU. Look where the candle is underneath, right? It touched, it went through the baby bands, it's coming up. However, do we have anything on four hours to push it further up? No. What is our previous? Why do we really look at the previous ones on four and eight hours? Because they're major, major trend setters, okay? So if my previous is a yellow red with a blue and an eight hour super pink down, do you think I'm gonna take this thing up? Hell no. Hell no. Okay, eight hours. What is it doing? It's hanging. I'm calling this candle hanging because it's not touching either the orange rose or the BB band, which that means to me that in order to go somewhere, it needs to come down first. So it's coming back down to the orange line on eight hours. Okay, even if the trend is up, I do not care. This is how I see it. Daily, where is it? It came down, it went outside of the BB bands, it touched the BB bands, what, what is it doing? It's coming down to the orange road, okay? So what am I expecting of you? Because I have a one hour up. I'm letting the sucker come to the one hour orange line and then if no four hour comes against me or eight hours, I'm taking it down, okay? Emphasis on down. I should be an air hostess or something. Okay, EU down, GU down. You see, let's see it, you see. Whoa, what's this color of red, green, red, green? Well, I'm seeing all the previous candles. And there are none of them either underneath or above the orange road, but they're up and down, up and down, red and green. What does this tell me? This tells me that for the past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours, you see, was going haywire. 
haywire as in what? As in ranging. Okay? It was ranging. So if it's ranging, what I'm expecting? To range. Okay? However, this is underneath the orange line. It's touched the BB band. Went through. I'm expecting it to come for a swift back up and then down again. Yeah, it's never gone past this. Look at this. It's, uh, it's been here. It's going to go up until here, come back down. It's going to be a little circle thing, okay, because it has nothing, no four hours to push it through the orange line. So I, that's why I think it's going to range for the next two hours. There's nothing here, so it's going to come back down to the BB band, then up again to the orange line, and so on. Okay? This is here down. Now we have a small red. However, this thing did probably its job previously. Why? Because it touched already the orange line. So this is kind of useless. However, if this would have been like, um, if this candle haven't, wouldn't have been touching the orange line and we had the small red up, then yeah, definitely I would have said it's up. But it already touched the orange line. So I know it's over unless it turns super pink. And meanwhile, if we don't have any help from here upwards, then I know this daily is not working if we're not receiving any help here whatsoever. So this is up and down. Okay, now let's go find ourselves entries. So GU, I would have entered it obviously at 99. Now it's obviously too late to enter. Now let's find out EU. There's no trade here. Now let's, let's look at EU. It's currently in 28. However, what do we have here? We have a super pink up. Am I taking this thing down? No, I'm not. Did this thing do its job? No, it didn't. So what am I doing? I'm going to let this thing come to the orange line and then take it down. Okay? Look where it is here on the 30 minutes. It's close to the orange line. I'm letting this thing do its magic. Okay? What did I say about you? See, see that? It went through the BB band. It pierced down. Now, every time this goes outside the BB bands, they want to come back in. Okay? Every time. But we missed it. The entry was at 48. Now it's 56. We're not taking it. So we wait. Actually, we don't have to wait because we have this recorded so we can move it. Okay? Let's move it. Let's move it. Mm, am I believing this? Not yet. Not really, because we still had the flashing arrow here. Now you can see it already touched it. However, I'm going to let it go back to the BB band, and that's where it's going to be my entry, okay? Nothing on GU from the BB bands, nothing on UC from the BB bands. Okay, let's go further. Now see, see that, why I didn't believe this did its job? It came back up, it showed you back up, so I'm not taking this down. See, that's why I didn't believe it's going to come down, because it didn't actually touch, it just went to it to, for a wick. But now I returned, so that's proof to me that that wasn't my entry, so I'm fine. And also, ooh, what do we have here? We have a 15 minutes blue. So what are we doing? We are just letting this thing go work. And then with a new 15 minutes or with a disappearing on blue, we will take it down. Okay? Perfect. Okay, let's go a little bit forward. Okay. Okay, now a different story. It's almost... 9.30, a new candle's gonna show up, so obviously this blue won't be working anymore, okay? Now, what are we, are we thinking? We have a yellow here. I'm looking for downs. So, let's see what's happening. What is happening? Okay, come on. 9.30, show up. Oh, 
Okay, so I am definitely looking to take this down, okay? Okay, new candle showed up. This came down. This did its job because it's here. We have nothing no new on four hour. The blue, it's not on my current candle, so I'm taking this thing down. I have nothing here. It's also very close to the BB bands. This came down as well. This is another sign for me, the purple band coming down, that it's going down. So I'm taking it down at 30. Okay. Here we go. Don't worry. There we are. See that? See what it did? It went, it touched the yellow line and it came down. Where's the one hour? It's gone. This is why signals disappear, okay? Because they've done their job and now they're on to the trend or to whatever it's meant to happen. Okay, guys, wait just a second. Coming back. So you just reminisce on this of what I've just told you. Okay, I'm back. So, back to where we were, right? EU down. Let's see. Okay, we took it at 30. It's at 23. Okay. Let's, so it went all the way up until 17. Let me just go big back. Okay, it went all the way up until 17. Now, that's where I exit. Why? Because now I have blues up. Blues up. Now it touched the 4-hour BB band and I'm expecting a reaction. A bounce. And now this could be a possibly new entry, okay? So I've taken it from 30 up until 18. I'm out, okay? Now, here you go. This is where you enter again. Just a second. You just wait, okay? You only have blues, blues, blues. Wait for something here to show up. Let's see. 14. Okay, now, this candle has done its thing. We got a new candle in 15 minutes. So, never go against a live arrow on a live candle, okay? Especially on 15 with the 30 combined. Now you have a blue next to this. Now this is going to work this time because it's a new candle printing from the bottom of the BB bands. So you could enter it from here, okay? And we could say we've entered at 16. Okay, here we are. Now what do we have over here? What did I say? It's going to have a reaction. Now we have a 4-hour blue up. 4-hour blue up. Blue 15. Blue 30. At 16. We're at 19. Okay. 
Okay, sorry. 16, yeah. Come on. You let it go. We still have our blue here. Now this is gonna go probably up to the, uh, one hour and then it's gonna come down probably. 16 to the 30, 29, that's it. We stop it. Why? Because now we have a yellow against us, showing us a new entry, okay? So we stop it right there. And that's another, what, 16 to 30, 14 pips, plus another 13, 30 to 14, another 16, so about, what, 30 pips already we just ha have in the, what, in the last few 30 minutes or so. It's that easy. Sorry guys, have to pause this for a second and I'll be back. I'm not by myself, so... Okay guys, sorry I'm back. Um, always things happen when I have to do a video. It's just crazy. Anywho, we were left at that we have done already 30 pips. However, this time... Okay, let's see. This time we have a yellow, right? So we've exited from, we took it at 16 and we exited at 30. Now, we have a yellow down. But look here, what do you have? You still have the pink up and you have now a four hour up. Is this a sign for you to take down, even if it works? No. You should not take this down at all, even if it works. I do not care. You have to make a good custom and habit of not ever, ever going about against four hours, yellows, signals, whatever, blues, any signal. Do not ever go against it, okay? Never. No. Meanwhile, since we have nothing here, nothing on GU from the beer event or from the bottom or the top. Now, from the bottom, you would argue, oh, but this was at 69 and you got all the way up into 84. Well, what do you have here? You have a four hour yellow red with the blue. I don't care. You don't take this up. You only take it down. However, this didn't get to the beer event. So am I interested in this? No, I'm not. I'm not taking it. Okay. Now let's focus on UC. UC, like I said, what is it doing? Up and down, up and down. So let's wait for it to come down and let's see when we can enter. Okay, let's go a bit forward. Now, is this the entry? No, it isn't, not yet. From your experience, what does this do when it's ranging? It has to go through the beer bands before it comes up and it will have to come with an arrow, okay? So even if it's close to the bottom, you still wait, okay? You just wait. Also, now we have a white arrow, so this should definitely push it further down, okay? You're waiting. OK, 
Okay, come on, what happened? Ah, oh, I don't like it's blurry. Just a second, guys. Oh, dear Lord. See the things I need to do for you. <laughs> come on now. Okay, is it better? Let's find out. Where was it? Were we here? Yes, we were here. Okay. So we let it come down all the way through the beauty bands and then we take it back up. We need a signal. Why? Because it's ranging and it's just better to get a signal. Okay. Now this worked. Yeah, sure. Fine. It worked, but still it didn't go all the way down. Was it worth the risk against a four hour? No, it wasn't. So then don't take it. Oh shit, I just put mint oil in my eye. Awesome. Ah, oh, dear Lord. Okay. Let's go a bit further. Nothing on G. You can see it's just from the orange row. This does not interest me, so we're not looking at it. Okay. Come on, you see, give us an entry. Uh -huh. uh, nothing yet. Okay, now we got something. Let's go a bit up. Okay, let's wait. We got an entry here. Let's go. Okay, and meanwhile you're watching the 30 minutes and the 15. There's nothing on the 15, but there's only something on 30. So that means it's going to go up until here somewhere, like it did here and here and here, you see? And it's going to come down. Now you got a yellow arrow down. So we take it. We enter at 62. Okay, 62 we entered. If it's, it, was, it was too fast, you entered at 61, 60, whatever, but not more than two, three pips away from that, okay? But we entered at 62, or I entered. You see that? It went all the way up until here, close to the beauty band. We did that, and that's it. And now it's going to come down. Because, and why do, you, why do you trust this seller down? As Gigi would say. Well, do you have anything on 50 minutes with a 30? No. Do you have anything on one hour? No. Do you have anything on four? No. Do you have anything on eight? No. Like we talked about the daily, this already did its job. Why? Because it touched the orange line, and it's already done its job. Okay, so we believe this signal because we have nothing else against this. This pink was only meant to take it up until here where all of these have been so far. Okay, because it's a ranging day. So we believe this error and we're going to take it down. And as I said, it's going down. Okay, now like I said, you always have to trust it and you have to make a split second decision to go with the signal or to the, with the BBN uh, band entry and you know your confirmation is to enter because it's going to be a winning trade when you have no live errors against you on both okay this is still here but it's gonna disappear why still here it's did it, it did its job already it's gonna look at that you see that it went away it's not there anymore it's gone you see that it's gone what was its job to take you up until here next to the BB band and then disappear so this is why you believe this you had no yellow red here no yellow red there nothing on the one hour and most importantly nothing on one and four hours when you have no signal against your one and fours you bet the 30 is gonna disappear when it's once it's done its job okay you bet it's gonna disappear so that's how you get extra confirmation and trust in the signal from 62 showing you down that's gonna go down now let's fast forward Okay, so we entered at 62, we're staying in. Now look what we have, we got help. You see that? We got a 15 minutes down. So where is that 30 minutes now? It's gone, it's disappeared. So believe it, that's gonna disappear. Okay, especially if you entered from the BB event, it never went against you, even if you had that 30 minutes against you for a second or two before it disappeared believe it's going to disappear 
because you have nothing on one hour against you, nothing on four hours against you, nothing on 15 minutes against you, okay? It was just a signal doing its job, taking you up until here. Now we took it at 62, it's at 46. Let it break, or at least let us get some sort of um, signal against us, okay? A blue or a yellow like this, okay? That's when we know to exit. Because again, we have nothing against us even now, so we have a small red down with us. So even more reason to stay in it. So we already have from 62 to 46. Uh, I'm bad with calculations, anyway. 20, almost 20. 18 pips. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Do we have anything against us? No, we don't. We're checking. Everything is good. Okay. All is good. Wait for it. We're waiting. Okay. Waiting. Okay, more red. Minus 6 red, that's very good. 44. Now we have a yellow, but still no blue, so just wait for a bit longer. Now, this is an exit and enter again thing. 43. Okay, now we have a blue. Let's see, is it going down? 42. Okay, so we close it at 42, exactly 20 pips. 62 to 42. Now, this is our entry. See that? What this? What did just happen? What did just happened? We got a blue, we have a yellow, and now it's showing us a wick, a sign of retracement. And this has gone from minus six to minus two. Now this is telling me this is another possible entry. Again, why am I taking this? And I'm not I'm risking it. I'm not risking it. Why? Because it's a up and down situation on UC. And it's been doing this for the past six, seven hours, okay? And it's going to go back up again. You will see. Wait and see. Now we have a blue on 15 minutes, another on 30 might appear, and you enter at 42 upwards, okay? You trust it. Trust it. We're outside the beam events here, and the 30 minutes, and the 15, so believe it's going to go up. Why? Because look, every time you went outside the beam events, it showed up. Every time you went outside the beam events, it shot up. Every time you went outside the beam events, it shot up. And this is what it's doing, okay? We took it at 42. Look, it went all the way up into 41. We took it at 42 with the blue and the yellow on 15 and 5. So how amazing is that? You exit one trade and you can enter into another one. So we already have 50 pips by now. And now we're on, on the fourth trade, okay? And now you have a new candle. So this is over. Okay, but with this blue, we can fix it to go up. Okay, so we're safe to go. Now, look what this is doing, GG, because you've asked about second entries. If you're unsure of the first entry, entry on the red candle with the yellow up, you wait for the new candle to print with a new 15 minutes. And you know that a new 15 minutes always starting from the BB band or from through the BB band, what does it do? It always goes up. It has nowhere else to go. On the 30 minutes, look, the same situation on the 30 minutes. Let's just wait for the... That's not going. Look on the 30 minutes, yeah? It started from the bottom. Yeah, this is your perfect second entry at 43 or 44, okay? Not more than three pips away. And look what happened with the one hour. It disappeared into a small red. Why? Because it did its job. What was its job? To push it through the BB bands outside. Because the small red didn't have enough power. We didn't have any four hours. We don't have any eight hours. That's why we're taking it back up. Because we have nothing against us. Now look, the, even the five, the small red disappeared. You see that? 
Don't be scared of arrows. Of course, when you have a one and a four combo, it's a different story. Of course, when you have a blue, it's a different story. Of course, when you have a yellow and a blue, it's a totally different story. Okay, now don't get me wrong. I didn't say I didn't say go crazy and go against all arrows. Okay, I just showed you an arrow that it's done already its job, which is take it outside the big event and now it's shooting back up. Yeah. Look at this, plus eight now, plus eight. Yeah, your entry was here, 42. The second entry was at 43. And we're going up. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, look at this. Now look at this, guys, huh? Look at this now. Where's your arrow down that made you so scared to pee in your pants and think it was going to go down against you and, oh, such a bad trade to take against this arrow, which is now non-existent and it's in green. Now it's pissing you off because you have a yellow on the 15, a yellow on the the 30 with the blue, okay? I told you guys, entries are shy at the beginning. They start with the blue and yellow. Sometimes not even not even yellow, just the blue. But the mere piercing of the beauty band is your sign of enter upwards, okay? That's your sign. Another sign is that you have nothing against you down. Nothing against you down for you to take it up, so not, no arrows down for you to not take this up, okay? Now, we've exited at 62, from 42 to 62, another 20 pips, guys, so now we have 70 pips, and it's just 10, 40, 70 pips, okay, guys? In what? In four trades? In four trades, you just did 70 pips, and only from the beer events, and you just took only EU and UC. We didn't touch GUI because it wasn't at the beer events. Now, um, Lambo, a perfect example, Lambo. Check this out, Lambo. Now, you think you're entering on this one, right? You're saying, look, there's another air yellow, like you did before. You entered on it down, then you took it up, and then you entered it again. Now, let's take this one. Yay, because we've just taken two more. No, 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 no. You're not taking any trade down. We're not believing this one. Why? Look at this. First of all, you have a white arrow up. Yeah. Then, you got a freaking yellow red with a blue against you on live candle. Not only that, but now you have also 30 minutes doubling the 15 minutes power up. So we have a 30 minutes with a 15 minutes yellow red up. Now, not only that, but the four hour managed to pierce through the orange line and now it's going above it. How the hell are you taking this now down? Just cause you see a yellow, but you're blind to not see the yellow red and the blues, and you're blind to see the double trouble on 15 and 30 minutes up? No, so Lambo, you see that? This is how a yellow would show up, and then you take it down, and it would disappear, and you're like, oh, why am I losing? Well, this is one reason for why you may be losing. Because you took it in the wrong direction. Why? Because now you got live arrows, two live candles, on two time frames showing you up, not down. So this is how you know you're not entering it. Before, yeah, before, on this one, on this one, let's wait for the new candle. Okay, on this one, you entered it up because you have no freaking arrow against you on 15 and 30. This turned into small red, which means it's done its job. There's nowhere else for it to go. Nowhere else for it to go. 
okay? So, this is why this is a different story for you to enter on, because you have nothing against you here. It's a fresh new arrow candle from the bottom of the BB bands, okay? Back to the... Yeah, so we don't believe that. Now another entry that you could take that it's a good example of how I'll show you guys of how I could sometimes enter a few pips away from the BB band like this one. You see this? The E trade is perfect. However, it still has the damn four hour flashing on and off by this time. So you may choose to not take it. I can show it to you, it's up to you, but again, you know my rule, I don't take it. So the BB band on five minutes is 30. Let's see how far this thing goes to. So if it's three pips away, I'm good for it. Now this is how correlation looks like, guys. We see that when this goes down, this goes up. And you know it's gonna stop and this is gonna carry on upward. So this means this is gonna stop here and come down. This is how Jazz or BR prepare to know the E is gonna soon start com coming down. This is what they mean by correlation, okay? This is now showing signs up, which means that EU will soon be showing a sign or not to go down. Now, you are at the 30 minutes orange line. There's nothing up against you, nothing up against you, okay? Now, this is happy hour, 10.30. This is happy hour now. So this means now it's gonna go against down. When it went down the whole of today, now it's gonna go up. Or not, whatever, I don't know. Or not, yeah, whatever. This is disappearing now. But you still have this, we don't know, because now this is a confusing situation. Because I don't know which direction EU has been going all day. Because it's, again, a ranging day. It went down, up, down, up. So, we are going to go with the story. Also, another tip, again, now. This BB band just flipped down. This touched it at 27. A new candle's coming up. A new candle's coming up. Do you see any arrows against you? This disappeared. What does this mean? That this is coming down. So, believe it's coming down. Okay, so you can take it at 26 if you want. Again, it's a four hour up. Even though it's happy hour and this might be a happy hour move, I don't know. Um, I would personally not take it, but I'm just showing you another entry that is sometimes close to the BB band, but I could still take it because it's only three pips away. So this is something I would take it from the yellows. If it doesn't reach to the blue or purple and it stops at the yellow line, I'll take it. Okay, so let's imagine this wasn't here, the four hour blue. But it is still. But this is just a proof of another example of how you know that this is coming down. Because you got the correlation. You see it's going up. So obviously, automatically, it will be coming down. There's nothing here up. There's nothing here up against you. Yeah? There you go. You took it at 26. And it's at 16. That's 10 fifths already. Yeah? And you stop it because now you can see it touched the bottom of the BB band and it's going to go back. So that's another 10 pips. So that's what? 80 pips that we've done so far, you guys. I think this is enough entries to show you exactly how things work. On GU, we still have no good entry. Now, let me show you how people would enter on happy hour. Okay? So. G was down, okay, so it would be an up situation. However, it was a ranging day, and I don't think the happy hour is great. Also, when it's happy hour and you have a yellow red with a blue down, I would not take this thing up because it's because it's a yellow red with a blue. So I th I'm thinking it's, it's gonna last for longer. Okay, this is stubborn to go to not go. Um, on a reversal so I don't really go against this on a happy hour I'd rather choose nothing on a four hour um, 
a pair that has nothing on a four hour long term to disturb me on happy hour if I really want to take it. But this is how you know, and this is how you enter happy hour, okay? See this? Again, yellows. This is how you know, you enter at 14, okay? Now, I'm not sure how far, it, never, it doesn't go that far. Uh, now, and look on uh, Gio. You enter here, you see, 63. This is how happy hour shows to you guys. It's very shy at the beginning. It's not flashing, it's not crazy. This is how happy hour shows up. So again, you have a yellow, red, and a blue on four hours, so I would not bother on happy hour to take a pair with this kind of a vibe right there, okay? So if you really want to, I'm just showing you right now. So this is a sign of a happy hour, guys, okay? Yellows with blues, with blues. Yellows with blues and blues. And it's gone from 14 to 19. Now every time it touches, it goes to the 5 minutes. Orange road, always expect uh, to come down. It might continue back down, or it might carry on up. It doesn't matter. You stop it at 5 minutes, at the 5 minutes orange road. At least that's what I do. And then I can re-enter again if I feel like it's going to go further down. But now you still have the 30 minutes down here. And now look what happened. The blues disappear. So this is a sign for me that this is not going to go further than that. That's why I stopped it from 14 to 22. That's already 8 pips, okay? And you can see the sign. The signs have gone and the pink is still here. Yeah. So obviously... The tray doesn't have more ups and downs. It has more downs, okay? So that was just me showing you how a happy hour reversals time show show up like. I was just showing you the signs. Now, it wasn't a good day for happy hour then. It only gave you eight pips. That's still good. However, I just wanted to show you also happy hour. This is it for me. You better be satisfied because I'm not giving you another one, okay? This is as blank, simple, stupid, dumb, easy as hell as it could be. I've just showed you how to take 90 pips with five trades. That's plenty. Absolutely plenty. And we only took two pairs today. That's it. See you in the room tomorrow. Be smart. Don't be dumb. And just do your practice. See you guys.